I've commonly heard the idea that once geoscience student numbers reach gender equity, that should, within a generation, feed through to gender equity at the top level of geoscience career progression. But when I did my undergraduate degree in geology in Australia in the mid-90s, the student gender split was already 50-50. And now, more than 25 years on, this is still not the case at senior levels. In government, in academia and in industry, women are underrepresented in geoscience leadership positions. This is the leaky pipeline effect. The loss of our potential future female leaders, often at the mid-career stage, and for a range of reasons. There are very many excellent initiatives to encourage young women to study STEM subjects, including geoscience, and to mentor them through their early careers. These are very important and we need these initiatives. What would be great to see are similarly many top-down initiatives to ensure that those women fulfil their potential and we achieve proportional representation of women and other underrepresented groups at the top level in geoscience. The current situation is that the people who are most active in diversity, equity and inclusion work are those who are directly affected. Women, for example. What if we made it a requirement to be active in diversity, equity and inclusion to be considered for leadership roles? If our leaders are or have been engaged in this kind of work, then they're likely to understand the value of diversity, equity and inclusion to everyone, including the organisations they lead. And if they understand that value, they're more likely to implement structural organisational change toward achieving gender equity, including in geoscience leadership roles.